I'm going! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. <sighs> shit! Just go grab that, would you? It's just a farm. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Come on, Colin. I'm walking, all right? Calm down. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her... Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. That's everybody. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> Your dad broke the rules, TJ. You're not allowed to stay in Fable Town without a glamour. <laughs> okay. Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. I could come visit you up at the farm. Yeah, well, too bad everybody up there hates you. Maybe if you do bad enough here, they'll ban you from Fable Town, too. Then we can go on the run together. You could show me around the Carpathians or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You got another one of those? How about a smoke for the road? One last time? Thanks, Bigby. Always a gentleman, aren't you, Bigby? I guess I'll see you around. Stay out of trouble, okay? If you even can. I'll try. Yeah, me too. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... You need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if... Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. 
Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No. Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Here. Thank you. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith... I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... You started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's not true. It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the Crooked Man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the Crooked Man, it was you. I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. But you've also done a lot of good. Don't forget that. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are.
I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around.
Thank you.